Hello. Uh, this is by way of a follow-up on. Uh, Hello. Uh, this is a way by way of a follow-up on um, the cylinder machining so far. Uh, this is what we had in the lathe last time. And uh, that's as far as we'd got. So what I decided to do today was to lap the cylinder. I can't see if you can see. It looks quite smooth now. I've lapped it using a homemade expanding mandrel. This. It's got a... Aluminium center, which is slit, uh, but only one of them is slit all the way through. And I've got two opposing tapers and a nut to expand it. And using uh, yellow fine uh, diamond cutting paste, I uh, lapped it up and down the uh, cylinder which wasn't as bad as any of the others I've done so far mainly because I think my machine is cutting a lot truer than it had been so uh, I was able to get the lap all the way through and then expand it and lap it and expand it and lap it but one of the good bits of luck uh, I had was when I was making the other engine uh, I was trying pistons and counter pistons to uh, get it to run and although I'd got a blank piston that we were contemplating on um, using uh, I did in fact find the thing had just dropped on the floor oh. I found a piston I didn't find it, but I had a piston that I'd previously made for the other engine that was just starting on the bore. So I decided to lap this in. And this time, instead of lapping in the blank and then machining the piston off it once I thought it was right, uh, I just lapped the piston in. Uh, I put it on this brass mandrel and uh, after I'd uh, lapped the bore this was just starting to go in uh, so I kept on lapping this and eventually it went all the way through and seems to have some compression. Uh, it's difficult holding like this to demonstrate it. But, uh, if I put my thumb on the top and pull, I can't. I can only pull it so far, and it seems to hold its compression. So I'm hoping that's a better fit than any I've done. So now the next job is obviously we have got a piston. We've got. Uh, sorry, we've got a piston and we've got a cylinder. The next job is go back to the lathe and machine the rest of this body down. And then we'll go over to the mill and we'll bore the porting. Uh, so now we've got, as I say, by way of recap again on what we've done so far, we've got the uh, crankcase. We've got the front bearing holder with the crankshaft and uh, we've got it shaped and we've got the back cap, back plate 
This is supposed to be bored or hollowed out. But I've left it like that because I'm still thinking I might make like this is a, a KB racing engine's back plate. This is off a KB 10cc um, um, glow engine. I was thinking of making an annual uh, intake on the back. Carburetor fits on the back of this instead of on the side of the engine. Uh, and this uh, intake is controlled by the crankshaft, the crank pin. Goes right through the connecting rod and into this plate and it turns round and then it has got an intake which is obviously timed uh, for opening and closing. I thought I might try that but that I'm still thinking about that. So as I say uh, we've got the back plate, got the crank case, got the front bearing and crank shaft and now we've got our cylinder And that's it so far. Starting to look a little bit like an engine. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.